All right, now this final jig that we're gonna put these keys through before we get to the hand filing is the, the notch. So we've done the sides, we've got those rough cut. We're gonna, we're gonna finish those off later by hand and get, get nice straight lines, not this rough, this rough uh, edge that the router leaves. We're gonna get things generally rounded and, and feel good to, to the finger. But this notch is the, is the part that, that always is an issue. So we want to get that notch perfectly to follow the, the notch of the wood. We don't want to introduce any more, any different notch. Let's get a close up on that. You can see where the wood is there. Okay. So the way it works is this sits in here. The router bit just gets, it, it's a square. I mean, it's at least that profile is, is square as it runs through. So that'll give us, as long as the, the router is set up correctly, the jig is set up correctly, that'll, it'll run through there and it'll give us a nice square notch. Now the notch is probably the, the trickiest thing to do by hand. So it's, it's important to, to really pay attention. If, if this router is set up correctly and done correctly, then that'll save a lot of time. It'll end up looking a lot better finished product. That, that notch will be 90 degrees, which, which is important to a really clean, professional looking set of keys. It won't, so, so a, a more amateur set of keys, which, which many technicians have seen over the years as we've serviced pianos, we've seen, we've seen sets of keys that, uh, that have been done by uh, maybe somebody w with, with a little bit less experience. That notch won't be 90 degrees, but it'll be, you know, it'll start straight here and then it'll be, you know, it'll be down like that or sometimes up like that or sometimes it'll be kind of wavy and we want, we want to avoid that. Okay, yeah, there's a good example of, of a notch that's a little bit more amateur. Okay. So, what, so we have, we have two dimensions that we're worried about. One is the height of the bit, the router bit. And, and to get that correctly, what we want is we want just the very top of the bit to skim the wood or, I mean, just like, we don't want it to take off any wood. So like touching, but not taking anything off. Just absolute peach fuzz removal on the top of the bit. So that's the height. The other one is, is the, is this axis. We want to be sure that that when it goes in, it's going to be taking off just to the edge of the wood. And if those two axes are correct, we should end up with a clean notch. Now this particular jig, it's been used so much. It's been used for 10 years or 12 years or something on probably, probably over a thousand key sets, I would say. So I guess that means it's an effective jig, but th th there is a kind of idiosyncrasy of the jig, and that is that the, this little vehicle carrier thing has some play back and forth. That's the, that's the price that we've paid. Someday we'll get that fixed, but for the sake of this video, we're just, we're just gonna do it, ad adapt to the jig as it is. Okay, so, so just be aware of that as you're going through, running the, running the thing through, just be aware that whatever you pick, whether it's pushing forward, that's the way I like to do it, or pulling back, it doesn't matter which way you do it as long as it's consistent from one note to the next. Once you set this, this router for the, for the particular set of keys, it should be set for everything. So you just have to set it once at the beginning, then you're done. And the reason for that, the height should be, should be set actually for every set of keys because this surface here should be, you know, if you were to lay a straight edge um, across here, right? The, the, the height of that router bit should be the same plane as as that one because that's where the side of the the thing is resting and looks like as I run that through it looks like we're there 
why don't you why don't you put the camera peek through that hole and you can see the height does that show through uh, yeah okay so the height should be good and then the I guess what would you call that the fore aft position the way <coughs> the way I like to set that so that's that's based on on this stop here and and here again <coughs> You don't want to use this stop. You don't want to like ram that key in there. You just want it to touch. That way it's consistent from one from one thing to the next, one one key to the next. Okay, so so I'm I'm gonna have a look in there and from what I can tell, it looks It looks like we're almost there. I, I want it to come. Let's get the camera in there again. I don't know if that'll show through. Do you have a flashlight? That, that might help the... So if I lift that up, you can see <clears throat> that the edge of the bit, there's ever so slight. Thank you. I don't know if that helps. Actually, it's making it a little worse on the angle. Right? Okay. So as I lift that up, you can see that there's a ever so slight little sliver of plastic that would be left there. So there's none of the wood ta being taken off by the router bit, which is a good thing. But is that is that pretty clear, Joshua, as I, as I lift that up, that there's a little bit of plastic that would be left by the bit? Um, I mean, what you're saying makes sense, but in the video, it's a little blurry. Oh, is it? I'm having trouble focusing on that section. Okay. But you can kind of see it in the video. All right, so what I'm going to do, all right, come, come on back to make that adjustment. Do you have a, a flathead screwdriver anywhere? Okay, so I want, I want it to come like, like a, not even a 60, 16th of an inch this direction, meaning I want it to, to I want that bit uh, right now. Here's a good way to do it. Right now, the bit is right about there. I mean, that's an exaggeration. There's, it's just a sliver. Their bit is right about there, and I want it to be all the way, not taking off wood, but touching wood. So touching wood here, and touching wood there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move the key this direction ever, ever, ever so slightly. Are you following, following that? Okay. So I'm just going to hold it in place, loosen the set screw. And push it in, tighten that set screw. See how we did, and again, I'm I'm the way I do it is I push it against the this front surface, not pull, and whatever is comfortable, as long as it's consistent, is just fine. Okay, that looks that looks perfect. I think. All right, let's see how that goes. Well, that needs to be adjusted a little bit, but you can hold this hold this down by your finger as well. In fact, it might be faster and easier anyway. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit higher, I think. I think our fore aft position is perfect. You can see that it did just kind of skim the wood, right, on, on this surface. But on this surface, 
were a little bit low. So maybe I'll raise that up. I'll run it through again. Raise that up ever so slightly. So loosen that. I didn't raise it up very much at all. And it was too much because now it's hitting the lower. Still definitely needs to be cleaned up with a hand file or sand or a sanding paddle. But I would say I would say that's pretty good. I think we're there. Okay. All set.